Hi guys, it's Debbie from Resin Hut. Guys, first and foremost, I just want to apologize for not uploading anything for a while. Um, I've had a few setbacks. I'm not really a sickly person, but I've just been knocked back. I had COVID in uh, December and got over that. I then got an abscess on my mouth. I just got over that. I got COVID again, guys. Just got over that and you guessed it, I then had a viral infection. So every time I was getting back on my feet, I just kept getting knocked back. And for someone who is not poorly, um, I've been pretty miserable. Anyway, I'm now on the back end of that. I've still got a few problems with my ears, which the doctor is still keeping an eye on. But about four or five days ago, I thought, you know what? I'm going back to my art because it really lifts the spirits, as you guys know. And just made me feel better, even though I wasn't feeling 100%. Just lifted my, my, my heart, it lifted my spirits, and I'm glad I did it. Anyway, guys, today I'm, I've been working with this product. I haven't been working with it for very long. So, guys, I don't know much about it. I always say in all my videos, I'm not an expert. I'm not a misknow-it-all. And if, you, if I don't know the answers, I will try and find it or I'll Google it. With this, however, I'm not the best when it comes to IT, so I've not found a lot on, on this particular product. Now, the product I'm talking about is, it's made by Mold Masters, and it's called Stonecast Powder. It's very similar to Jasmite in the fact that it's um, a liquid to powder. The difference is, this is not waterproof, guys. Um, so if you are looking to make things for the garden and things like that, I wouldn't recommend this. They do say that it's extremely porous, um, so to not use it for anything that's going to be high humidity or water-based like soap holes and things like that because it would just be a disaster. I am going to do a little experiment though, guys. I recently bought this off of somebody who has stopped working with Jasminite and I've been wanting to get my hands on it for a while, H sealer. Now according to this, it makes it food safe, waterproof, it's a matte finish, it's high, it's equivalent to a high temperature, it can hold high temperatures after it's been put on and it's UV resistant. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work with the stone cast though because it's extremely porous as I said. Now this, when I said it's similar to jasmineite as in it's powder to liquid the difference is as we know the ac100 is a 2.5 to 1 ratio this is a 2 to 1 so i've got 300 of the powder and i've got 150 of the water because you just add water to this guys now i've been playing around with it a little bit and i've been having a bit of fun with it now these are what i've just finished making um very very similar finish to jasmineite um, not really much of a difference um, th this is their little face that i bought for the lady it's still busy drying so it is quite patchy at the moment and this is the jasmineite so as you can see it actually is really similar um, the difference is this is not as smooth as the jasmineite to the touch um, the advantage of the stone cast is the price. Guys, for a 5 kg bag, it's cost me £12. So if you are on a bit of a tight budget and you can't quite afford to remortgage your home to buy some more jasmineite and you just want to go into your art room and just play around and have a bit of fun, I would recommend this, guys. But like I said, please don't make anything that's going to go into the bathroom or pot plants and things like that because it's so porous it just absorbs all the water and it will break down um, but for little things like that I mean I, I, I really don't find anything wrong with it um, and it's even for the delicate stuff like the roses it's come out really beautiful this is also the stone cast now these are this is actually settled down now and it's, it's finished drying um, and that's I mean I've got roses made with the jasmineite that are identical. If I put them together, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So if you're making little delicate stuff and things like that, it is also quite nice. It is a little bit more liquidy, if that's even a word, than the jasmineite, so it does tend to run easier. Um, the work time with this is about 10 minutes, guys. So it's along the same lines, if not less, than jasmineite. Um, obviously, as we all know, you can put in retarder with jasmineite, which gives you sort of another 10 to 15 minutes. 
I haven't seen anything similar that you could put into the stone cast that would prolong the working time. I've never had a problem with it. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that I've not done before. I'm going to do a plain, I'm not going to add any colour to it, but then I'm actually going to show you how quickly the colour absorbs into this afterwards. So if you didn't want to put a colour in and you wanted a specific colour to match, say, your kitchen or something in your lounge, but you know, mixing it in with the liquid suddenly dilutes the colour. I'm going to show you how this is actually nicer as far as that's concerned and it's easier. And if you make a mistake, guys, you're literally losing about 50 or 60p a time. Where if you're doing it with jasmineite, you already know that you're losing two or three pound a go. Anyway, guys, the thing with this is very similar to jasmineite, as I said you will add the powder to the water now how i do it is i've been watching a couple of videos on youtube and they say always always add the powder to the water so and they just say just add a little bit at a time and wait for it to sink if not just shake it in like that I'm just going to do that. Oh, I've gone and wet that now. That wasn't a very good idea, Ruby, was it? All right, let's just bring up this one. So just do that. You're supposed to shake it in. And I've just gone and done a whole big blob in there. I think maybe if I turn it, it would be a bit easier. So you just make sure that it's all going to the bottom. just carry on doing it like that guys if you want to fast forward this you can because you know me with technology I don't know how to do this fast forward thing uh, I'm sure there's some type of an app you can download and fast forward certain parts of it um, I unfortunately will land up must be either breaking my phone or breaking the app <laughs> oh dear so yeah so you just basically you just carry on filling it putting it in you just make sure that the, it's completely into the water before you put the next one in. Just let it sink down. Just like that. Nearly done, guys. Right. I'm just going to do a little bit more like that. And then we're just going to do the last bit in here. And we're done. Pop that over there. Now, you can stir this by hand. Or you can do it with um, your electric beater. I've got a little battery operated. I actually just bought a new one. Nice new one there. So that got delivered a couple of days ago. Even though I was poorly, guys, I still didn't stop buying, much to my partner's disgust, shall we say. But anyway, so yeah, so you just stir that in. Like I said, you haven't got very long to work with this. Um, Colour-wise, it's I think it's more, to me it looks more creamier in colour than sort of the off-white for the jasmineite. Um but I'm, like I said, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not, I'm not going to put any colour in this time round. So I can just show you the difference. Um, really, really easy. Just basically just stir. I'm just very conscious of the working time with this because, as I said, it's actually less, less time with this than what it is. Right. I'm just going to pop that down there. Okay, let's do this. Right, I am going to use my vibration plate, guys, which is just behind me. Um, just pop that on. You'll just hear a bit of a noise. I just find it just gets all the bubbles up to the top. Go. 
I'm just going to pour the rest in there. Um, very similar to the Jasmine, again, you're just going to vibrate it with your hands, just get all the bubbles to the top. As you can see, it's a lot more liquidy. Um, some people um, that I've watched, they wait and pour it to go just a tad thicker before they pour it in. I personally don't like doing that. I prefer it when it's lovely and liquidy like this. I just... It's harder to, to tap because obviously with being almost like a water consistency, it does go everywhere. But if you don't make a mess, you're not enjoying yourself. That's the way I look at it. All right, so we're just going to do a little bit more. It's actually starting to thicken up now and already I can see it. I've done a little bit too much in there actually. I'm going to scoop that out. That's it. I think that's about it. Right. A little bit more tapping. Oh, gosh. Really, I'm making a mess now. Too much in here guys there you go right uh, I think that about does it what I am going to do is I'm going to do the two roses as well because I know for a fact that this um, makes makes this plus the two roses with the 450 I'm just going to just, I'm just trying to scrape off sort of all the bubbles that have come to the top. Just like Jasmineite, bubbles are your enemy. With this, I generally just pour a little bit in and then just scoot it around a little bit, which is a bit messy, but it sort of gets into all the, all the little nooks and crannies of this um, rose. Um, and just I haven't sort of had any problems doing it this way I mean there might be a I should really be using a thinner stick but oh dear get most of it on my hand goodness gracious me all right just, I'll just pop that onto the vibration pad quickly and we'll do the other one And I'm just going to finish this off. Right. It's actually started to thicken up already, guys. I can actually see the way it was pouring from the first time. It's actually going a bit lumpy. Gosh, that does, that does really, that really, really goes off quickly, guys. So you haven't got time to play around with this, that's for sure. Um, obviously, if you, if you do it with your electric mixer, it's going to give you a couple of minutes on hand stirring. I uh, should have maybe done that with the... Right, so there are the two roses. I'm just going to get those, see if I can get all the bubbles to the top. Gosh. Needs a little more. Right, there you go. I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming to the top. So very similar, very similar to the jasmine art with the tapping 
and the vibrating. I'm just going to move this out the way quickly. I'll just do this one quickly. Try not make too much of a mess, guys. I'm making so much of a mess. Right, there you go. Right, guys, so that is. I'm just going to just give this a quick wipe around here. Makes it easier when I go to wash it later. Right, there you go. Right guys, so as you can see, this, this has sort of gone thicker underneath. It tends to, I don't know why, but um, it sort of goes from the bottom to the top. Um, well, just from my experience, obviously I haven't got a lot of experience with this guys, but it seems to get thicker on the bottom and then the top tends to stay a little bit wobbly until the whole thing is set. Anyway, I'm waffling on guys. So that is it guys. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to touch it anymore. Um, just quickly wipe around here. Let's just wipe. There we go. It's a bit better. Okay, guys, that is that done. I'm going to leave it now. The stone cast um, takes a little bit longer than jasmineite. Um, it's between sort of 30 minutes and 45 minutes for it to set. However, I did take this one out. I won't pick it up too much now because I've got stuff all over my hands. This one here, did. I think I only left it in for about 25, 30 minutes and I took the chance and took it out. So it was actually fine. Um, what I wanted to show you quickly, um, um, I'm going to do this hopefully in one of my next videos. One of the ladies is about to have a baby, so she did not want her moulds anymore, and I jumped on it, and I bought this beautiful puppy. Now this takes a whopping, I think it was 1.8 kgs of jasmine, so it's it's a very, very big and heavy mould. But I do want to try it with the stone cast, um, just for value or money. Now this is it finished in the in this. This is actually the jasmineite that I've done this in. I haven't finished this, guys. I still need to do sanding. I've put on the gold leaf. I still need to do a cover sort of over it, and I want to use the H sealer for this once it's done to make it um, obviously be a UV resistant and be able to hold a high temperature because I'm going to be using these as tea light holders and I'm going to put a couple of other um, tea light holders on there as well but as you can see um, it weighs an absolute I just can't believe how heavy that is so anyway guys I'm going to leave you there uh, I'm going to let that dry for 30 to 40 minutes then I will be back and we will take that out and then I'm going to quickly show you um, how to paint that to a specific color that you want so hold your horses guys and i'll be back hi guys right so i am back and i'm just going to quickly unmold these just pull it away the same as what you would do with the resin uh, or the jasmineite I find it best to do that and then just pop it out now this only been about half an hour guys so not really much difference um, time wise as far as sort of jasmineite and um, stone cast goes now I am a bit nervous with this because normally I would have left it a bit longer but right so guys and there we have it that is the stone cast all finished now guys you could keep it keep it like that if you wanted to um or 
you can paint it. Now I'm going to show you just how porous this product is because I was pretty taken back on on how the colour goes into it. Now I'm using um, a metallic on this one. It's a metallic teal or teal if you want to do it. Now what I've done, I've popped a little bit of glitter in there. I've popped some of the metallic paint in there. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of water in there, or a little bit more water, I should say, um, just to water it down because this stuff absorbs so quickly. If you were to just do it with plain acrylic, you would have quite a big problem. You would find a lot of streaking in that with it. So I'm going to give this one a go and just see. I might even have to put some more water in this. So I'm just going to just quickly do that and you'll see how it just literally is absorbing I'm going to put a bit more water in guys because that's still showing a little bit of streaking and you literally just going to I mean you could use a sponge with this as well if you wanted to obviously totally down to you how you want to put the color on um, Oh, just quickly, this is very, very rough, guys. I'm just literally showing you how this just sucks the colour in. You always get one piece that doesn't want to take. I mean, it's just on the corner there. Now, guys, you can still see the brush stroke, so I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. I'm actually... I mean, I literally used, I think, two little blobs of um, of the teal colour, and then the rest was just water that I just put it into. Right, that's a little bit better. Still showing the streaking, but I have actually got my little sponges here. Yeah, I bought them ages ago, and I'm actually not got to use them yet so I'm just going to do that just to give them a that's a bit better actually with the with the you can get these off of eBay um, or Amazon they are super cheap I think they were like 2.99 or something for the whole pack and guys that's literally, I don't know why it's not taking on that little corner there, which is extremely frustrating. Just do that. And you can see just the little bit of glitter that I've popped in there. Obviously, when I do this, I would do the whole thing. I would do front, back, and all the way around the sides as well. Because um, obviously, even though you don't see the back, and the, you know, you are going to see the sides. Right, so that pretty much does it. I could have used a little bit more glitter in there actually, but I'll, I'm going to do about three coats of that. So that shows you just how absorbent that is. I mean, that is pretty much, well, dry to the touch already. It's literally just soaked, soaked it in. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly do a second coat. I'm just going to mix this in. Actually, you know what I'm going to do quickly, guys? I'm going to put a little bit more glitter in there. Um, here we go. So I'm actually using uh, the Let's Resin glitter. I'm making a right mess here, guys, as always. Oh, that's a bit better. Right, and then I'm just going to just do another. I'm just going to literally put that on like that. Just let it run down like that and then I'll just get my sponge again and just want to go over into the crevices as well because obviously you've got the little nose the lips and the eyebrows right how is that that's a little bit better just wait for that to to dry 
just waiting for it just to absorb a little bit in just so I can just because I don't want to see these brush strokes and I'm still seeing them I think it's because I've gone over this too quickly I should have waited they do say sort of waits sort of 10 to 15 minutes between coats and obviously I didn't wait anywhere near that length that's a bit better much better just getting rid of those brush strokes now guys still see them but a little bit better with this right and there you go guys so obviously as you can see the size I haven't done the size yet I will do the size but I'm not going to sit and waste your time doing that so that is that as you can see I will do a final coat with that with the sponge um, generally two to three coats now we've got the white flowers here and same thing guys I'm just going to just literally pop that in like that with this one you might need to sort of drip it in because the flowers petals are quite intricate pick it up off here as well and just work your way around I'm running out of paint with this but hey ho never mind It'll still give you an idea of what you can pretty much do with this stone cast. Right, I have run out of paint because I'm not going to bother to do any more. I'm just going to just quickly show you. Obviously, I will go over this and all the little white that's obviously showing, I will get that all covered. Um, and that's the flower guys so just that little glittery look to it obviously you can see where I've missed there's a few white bits in that but obviously I'll just get that covered when I do the second coat but I am going to leave that like that so that's it guys so I hope you found this video useful um, if you haven't tried stone cast before give it a go guys like I said it's it's it's, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg um, and it does give a beautiful finish and I'll skip definitely takes to the paint absolutely beautifully so this one here I'll show you now this one yeah I've actually put the H sealer on it's absorbed it already so that's with the color guys that you're actually mixing in and then you get the much stronger color tone if you're painting you can make it quite a dark color it can take quite a bit of um, color to put in with it I haven't tried my powders in that that I had for my epoxy but I am going to give it a go it's one thing I haven't done but that's obviously the two with the color and then obviously putting the color on afterwards um, this I've just actually painted with the H sealer and you can see that's still wet so it just goes to show you just how absorbent that is I painted that within 30 seconds it was gone but there you go guys anyway put in the comments if you have liked it or you'd like to see something more or something different with it um, for an alternative I said it before I'll say it again guys this is amazing absolutely amazing um, and super cheap I mean this cost me about 30p to make that um, if that so guys I hope you've enjoyed this video as I always say um, take care of yourself and take care of your family and I will see you all again soon bye